All right, so we are here with part two of voting for the Game Awards. Uh, yesterday, I did part one, and uh, I forgot to do part two because I fell asleep. Crazy. I even said I was going to like do part two. I was going to actually upload uh, both part one and part two uh, in the same day like I am today. But uh, yeah, it was, just know it was, meant to do, it was meant to be up yesterday, but I'm lazy. Whatever. Let's stop talking. Game Awards time. Uh, we got about, what, 15 categories to go. Um, I still, I'm, I'm going to wait until the last one to vote for my game of the year. That's going to be like my last, uh, vote or nomination or whatever. And, um, and so, yeah, let's, let's get right into it. So I've already voted. What was this one? Best action adventure. I voted, um, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Best role playing. Um, okay. These are the things right now. If I'm in the way, I don't think I'm in the way. I think I'm right here on the screen. So we got Elden Ring, uh, Live a Live, Pokemon, Triangle. I'm going to give it to Elden Ring on this one. Yeah. Oh, including massive multiplayer experiences. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give it to uh, Elden Ring right here. I'll get my TVs on in the background. So, But, yeah, I'm definitely going to give it to Elden Ring, bro. Elden Ring, yeah, definitely. Uh, Best fighting. Okay. Now, I haven't played that many fighting games. I did play Multiverse this year, and Sifu is a game that I really like. I, I, I like. I didn't play it yet, but I did see uh, I did see it on YouTube. Um, I'll give it to Multiverse. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it to Multiverse on this one. If you guys disagree with me, it's okay. Comment down below with you guys. If you guys like had any different uh, picks than I did, I'd love to... Um, I'd love to see what you guys pick for the Game Awards. Um, we have Best Family. All right, so uh, for the best game appropriate for family play, I right, retrospect. Okay, cool. All right. If we're talking about, f ooh, man, okay. So for me personally, it's between Kirby, Nintendo, and Splatoon. You guys know I'm a big fan of Splatoon. But also Nintendo Switch Sports is 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 a family game. Obviously, Nintendo Sports was a family game as well. So, and Kirby, I love Kirby, man. If we're talking about family orient, like or like around this family, I would instantly go to Nintendo Switch Sports, or just like a big group of friends. Um, and yeah, after I vote, oh, after I vote for this one, I'm gonna turn my TV off because uh, I feel like it's it's, it's still loud. So uh, I'm gonna go for Nintendo Switch Sports. Some of the, I know some people might go for Kirby on this one, but it is what it is. I, I'm gonna go for Nintendo Switch Sports though. All right, we're back. Best Sim slash Strategy. Okay. Um. And yeah, so I, I looked through part one as well on my on my um on my video, uh, of voting for the Game Awards, and uh, there was some times to where like it would lag a little. So if it does lag. Very sorry for that. I tried to go through like my OBS settings to like, you know, try to like make sure it doesn't lag. So hopefully it doesn't lag uh, during this episode. But if it does, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we got best sim slash strategy game. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't played most of these games. But if I have it, if I had to give it to one. If I had to give it to one, I would give it to Mario. Yeah, I would, I would, I would give it to. Yeah, I would give it to Mario. But that's just me, though. Some of you guys may have played these games. And here's the thing. Like, I'm, listen, I'm nobody. But, like, do, just because I pick something doesn't mean you pick the same thing. I want you guys to have your own, um, I want you guys to have your own, you know, choice and stuff like that, you know? All right, next one. Hopefully, um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. If it does take too long, then I'll just, I'll just skip to it. All right, we're back. Um, on OBS right here, I have, like, these hotkeys to where, like, I'll pause it. And, and play it so i don't want to waste you guys time so if it takes a little too long to like load up whatever because of my horrible pc but my also lovely pc uh if it takes too long then i'll just pause it and then i'll just play um or i'll resume the recording once you know they pop up uh best sports slash racing f1 i love f1 fifa I, oh, migraines bro uh man 2K23. I'm giving it to F1, bro. 
I can't, bro. I quit 2K. Listen, guys, I quit 2K a very long time ago, and it, it, there's nothing special about 2K anymore. Like, it, it, listen, if 2K was still good, like 2016, I would have instantly given to uh, NBA 2K23. But no, bro, I can't. Not anymore, bro. Not in t not, not not anymore, bro. Honestly, I can't. No. No. No, no, no. Alright, so we got best multiplayer game. <sighs> okay. This is gonna be very controversial. This is going to be very controversial for some people because I played I played all these games. Well, no, except for the except for the Ninja Turtle. I played all four of these games. Now Okay. Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer is good. It is. Especially if we're supposed to, we're supposed to have uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for uh, two years. Because I think Call of Duty is taking a break next year. So, makes sense. Uh, okay. All right. Multi Multiverse. Mm, wasn't really feeling it for a multi for multiplayer. I only took like two W's. Uh, Overwatch, amazing, bro. I'm gonna be real. I was lit. I was playing Overwatch two yesterday. Uh, I main uh so Sojourn or Soldier seventy six. They're right next to each other in, in the damage column. Uh, I main those two, and I love Overwatch two, bro. Splatoon, I love Splatoon. If I have like if I have to like follow my heart on this one, I would give I would either give it to Overwatch two or Splatoon. And I love Call of Duty, man. Call of Duty is ah, I gotta do it, bro. I gotta do it, bro. I gotta do it, bro. Oh yeah, man. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next <sighs> next call category, bro. That was tough, honestly. All right, so we got content creator of the year for a streamer or content creator who has made an impact in a positive or uh, or sorry, who has made an impact and a positive impact on the community in 2022. Man, I, hopefully I could be in one of these, bro. I actually want to be. Wow, man. Imagine me in like a content creator of the year type thing. That that would be amazing. One day though. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, QTC, she's a streamer. I know that. I like her streams. If I'm being real, I don't really watch her all like that, but I have jo dropped them on some streams. Obviously, the boy Ludwig, you know. He's a GOAT as well. Carl. You guys don't know who Carl is? Carl is... Um, I want to say he originated from Mr. Beast. He had he was streaming before he joined Mr. Beast and stuff like that. But like, I mean, I don't know all his history, but like, that's all I know from him. Um, Carl's a lovely dude, bro. If I if I had to give it to somebody, right? If I had to, I would give it to Lovely, bro. I would give it to Lovely, or I would give it to. I'll give, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Lovewood, bro. I'm gonna give it to Lovewood, bro. I'm gonna give it to Lovewood, bro. I wanted to give it to QTC Cinderella, but I don't. I like them both. I like them all, bro. I like them all. There's no like. There's no loser for me, bro. In this situation, there's no loser. I don't really watch these two like that, but I, I watch Lovewood. So yeah, that that was tough. That was a little tough. I'll be real. That was tough. All right, so we got best debut indie. Uh, I'm gonna give this. Oh, Neon White was a good. One. You know what? <sighs> Man, I don't know, bro. I'm. It's between Stray and Neon White. I don't know, bro. You know what? Oh man, okay. 
I'm going to give it to Neon White. I wanted to give it to Stray, right? But ne I like Neon White, bro. I really did. I watched the trailer on my channel. It looked really good. I'm going to give it to Neon White. That might... I, you know. Some people are, aren't going to be too happy with that decision, but... I don't know, bro. I, I Listen, I honestly think Neon White was better than... It was a better indie game than all of these games right here. And again, sorry if my stuff seems a little laggy. My bad. But yeah. All right, so we got best uh, adaption. What, best adaption game? Uh, recognizing outstanding creative work that uh, faithfully and authentically adapts a video game to another entertainment medium. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I'm giving it to League of Legends. League, League of Legends. Sorry. Yeah. I want. Okay. I know you guys are gonna be crazy. Like, bro, the Sonic movie is right there. I don't know, bro. I I'm going to get cursed off for that one. I kind of want to change my decision. Oh, no. Because Uncharted was a... Uncharted... Bro, Uncharted was a good movie, too. Uncharted was a really, really, really good movie. It had Tom... It had Tom Holland in it. No, Tom Holland... I was about to say no. Uncharted wasn't a movie. It was a game. Wait, I thought Uncharted was a movie. It's a movie, right? It's Uncharted. I know. Okay, don't look at me that way. I know Uncharted is a game series, but this looked like a whole movie thing, and I thought, it was, and I thought it was a movie because literally this is a movie. This is a move. This is a show. This is the show. Like I, forgive me. You know what? Let's just ignore this one. <laughs> Let's just ignore this one, because obviously I just woke up. I don't know what I'm talking about. I love this movie, by the way. I should have just picked Sonic, but I'm done. All right, so we got the most anticipated game. <sighs> Where is... You know, if Dead Space was on here, I, I would choose Dead Space. Okay. New Final Fantasy. New Final Fantasy for this one. Yeah. New Final Fantasy. Yeah. All right. So we got the best esports game. Uh, best esports game. We got CS:GO, Dota 2, Light League of Legends. Esports. Okay. If we're okay, Rock, Rocket League. I love Rocket League. And then we have Valorant. Oh, man. Okay. Me, personally, whenever I see the word eSports, I automatically think League of Legends. So, with that fact, I'm going to go with League of Legends. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to League of Legends with that one. So, yeah. On to the next category. All right. So, we got the best eSports athlete. I know my sister's screaming in the background. Uh... Okay. Uh If I if I'm being real, I don't know any of these guys cuz I'm not really into esports like that. No, there will be some times where like I'll just like look at uh just an esports game just to look at it, but like I don't know any players like that. Uh Should I just skip it cuz I don't Should I skip it? You know what? T to be fair, I think I'm going to skip it. I think I'm gonna skip it because I don't. I to be fair, to like you know, to be fair to everybody, I'm just gonna skip this one. So let's go to the next category. All right, so we got best esports team now. Where's 100 Thieves at? I gotta give it to 100 Thieves, bro. Call, bro. 100 Thieves, Call of Duty, bro. They went, they went crazy doing a Call of Duty, I, and I think it was a comeback, right? Against who was it? Oh my God, who did they? Uh, didn't they come back on somebody? Or am I wrong? I 
I think they came back in somebody, but you already know, bro. Hunter Thieves, they got they got mine, bro. They got mine. They definitely got mine. All right, so we got the best esports uh esports event. <sighs> when I think of hype, when I think of hype, I got the League of Legends World Championship. Bro, you can know nothing about League of Legends or esports or whatever, but if you click on like the live stream, bro, you will eat, bro, you will feel the energy like from the crowd from like, bro, like it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, like I've watched the, um, like one of my favorites was when, uh, was when, um, a hundred thieves won the league of legends championship and bro, it was, it was amazing, bro. I just felt the energy, bro. I, I just love the energy from it, bro. Honestly. Yeah, I'm going to go 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves on that one. All right. Last but not least, we got Game of the Year. There's there's, there's, a, there's a reason why I saved this for the last one. Um, obviously, this is this most likely will be the most anticipated award. Um, when it, when it comes when it, when it comes to the night, uh, everybody will, will be glued to their will have their eyes glued to the screen, wondering what game is going to pull through and be game of the year. Um, we all have our favorites, um, but but this year for me, bro. <sighs> see. I was thinking about this all last night and I feel like, okay, let's be clear. Stray was an amazing game, but it for, for game, for, for, for game of the year. No, Xenoblade, amazing game. Game of the year? No. Horizon. Uh Forbidden West. A good game. Game of the year? No. Plague Tale uh Re Re Requiem. Hope I said that right. If I didn't, I can't read. My bad. Didn't play the game, but uh I guess it looks alright. Not my game of the year. <sighs> now, when it comes to these two, I think me personally, game of the year, man, okay. I got a war. I got a war game of the year. I got a war game of the year, and I'm. Mean, I'll, I'll explain why. I'll explain why. I'll explain why. The reason I put God of War Ragnarok as the game of the year is because everything was perfect. Everything, literally, everything was perfect. The st the the storytelling, bro. The characters, the music, everything. Everything, w w picture this picture perfect. There was nothing I didn't like. Nothing. I love the story mode. I love uh, the bosses. I love uh, the 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 villains. I, I love everything, bro. And honestly, bro, after you get done playing God of War, like you can go on on YouTube and, and, and watch like you know fun fact videos or or uh, about you know about God of War, bro. Did you know that? But I was like, that's what I was doing. Like after I got done playing God of War, I was watching a whole bunch of you know like shorts, like YouTube shorts or um you, or YouTube videos. Uh, just just even watching them, it's like just even like learning about like Greek mythology and all that, bro. Like like this game made me sit down and just and just learn about Greek mythology and and, and Ares and and just everything about God of War, just history and stuff like that, bro. And so, 
God of War Ragnarok, it, it really did that. It, it was a picture perfect game. The reason it was the, like it, it was so hard because Elden Ring, bro, it was something that we've. I guess I guess you could say we've never seen before, or that I've never seen before. Um, again, the 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 level of design is crazy. The level of design is crazy. Uh, Bandai Namco did a really, really, really good job with this game. Um, for me, the bosses they were it was it was just a joy seeing all the streamers trying to beat like the hardest bosses and stuff like that. Um, just just all just challenges, and so I feel like I, I here is the thing I feel like. Elden Ring w- was the more impactful game of this year. Um, I feel like a lot more people played Elden Ring, but if we're talking about game of the year in all aspects, right? All aspects. You could throw in your little cheap, you know, oh, what about the music? What about you, anything? And we're talking about, and it started off strong too, bro. Like, I mean, it's God of War, so like it's going to start off strong. Like God of War Ragnarok, right, bro, was, it was perfect for me, bro. That was that was the perfect game this year. That was a perfect game, bro. Perfect, absolutely perfect, bro, to the T. Perfect, bro. I didn't have a problem with this game. Perfect, bro. And so, I gotta go God of War on that one, bro. Um, if one thing I want, one thing I want to say is, if Elden Ring does win Game of the Year. I'm bro. I'm gonna give him his props. I'm gonna get. get I'm, I'm going to give Elden Ring their props, bro, because Elden Ring was an amazing game too. So I'm not gonna be mad if if uh, if Elden Ring wins because honestly, it was a really, really, really good game. Um, literally, God of War and Elden Ring, they're like this, literally. Um, but one thing that I am gonna be mad about is if uh, is if one of these win because we all know we listen amazing games but we all know they're not gonna surely they're not gonna surely they're not gonna you know no way no way because if they do bro i promise you i do you guys remember that year when like when the last of us won like five awards five or six awards like in a row like, bro, and that got some controversy. So, like, bro, imagine if, no offense to any uh, to any company that, that made Stray or anything like that, but imagine if Stray beats God of War in Elden Ring. Something's wrong. Then I, I, I would, listen, I would go on record, and here, no, and I'm reacting to everything. I am reacting to everything. I'm going to make, re- like, reaction videos that are going to go up that same day. I'm going to make reaction videos to me reacting to like I'm going to have like a like a big speaker or I'm probably just going to turn my laptop all the way up. But I'm going to sit in my chair, have my camera on the side and they're going to announce, uh, you know, uh, every like award, whatever. And, we're, you know, you guys are going to get my reaction to them announcing uh, the, you know, the game of the year. And if it's God of War, I'm going to be really, really, really happy. Uh, if it's Elder Ring, I'm going to be really, really happy. If it's stray, then I'm going to have the craziest rant of my life. If it's Xen, listen. If it's Xenoblade, I'm going to be slightly irritated, but I'm like, you know what? Xenoblade was a really good game. So, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, um, uh, and then uh, a Plague Tale, whatever. I guess, but other than that, God of War Ragnarok is my game of the year. Comment down below, who did you guys select for game of the year? I would love to get you guys uh, take on this. And uh, I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And peace out, everybody.